it has been a while <laughs> uh, past, uh, posted the last video in January maybe December somewhere around there maybe December or January and uh, life has been pretty busy which is awesome and yeah but I've been missing it and today I'm thinking about making a little bit of a video <sighs> the structure of this video will probably change as what I have noticed in the past is that uh, although my video content is quite fun and sometimes quite adventurous it tend doesn't seem to be much of a theme other than being outdoors and appreciating the nature and yet I feel that I, I want to make these videos not only for people watching but I'd like to make them for myself and in that respect I would like to perhaps do a little bit more talking head shots to the camera and uh, perhaps sharing my point of view perspective you know I don't know if I have anything valid to really say about my perspective but uh, you know um, I feel like I, I live according to what I believe and my life reflects that quite well um, so I guess if you are interested in what's up with the G then watch this video another thing is that I am going to be posting this on another platform called Odyssey which is a replica of YouTube except it's decentralized and on the blockchain and I'm quite interested in that kind of a technology so I will post on YouTube and on Odyssey and if any of that sounds interesting to you I will post a link in the bottom to the where the video is on Odyssey and now perhaps a few shots of what's been going on at Tiny House What's happened at Tiny House? I don't know if I made a video explaining that this room behind us is new. I just kind of added a room onto the side of Tiny House. Emma's succulents are growing everywhere. We have two beautiful little succulent nurseries and a few other places where I try to grow vegetables but it didn't work so well. But actually the succulents were great and they're very rewarding. Um, I've just redone the ceilings inside tiny house uh, doing it like I should have done it initially but initially I didn't have that much finance so I had to do with make do with what I could it's hands-on living and trying to find a balance between where you are completely 100% hands-on and where somebody else does everything for you or your landlord owns the house or whatever it's like it's trying to find you know a balance in the middle that is suitable for you and what you want to choose to do well that's it i can't really go hey okay 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 so we are on our way to going for a snorkel and going down to nature's you've seen me in this place before um, but yeah don't want to really drive and talk too much with the camera it's a lot to manage but yeah I'm on my way to a spot I haven't been before not the same spot as before another place and uh, yeah looking forward to seeing what it looks like and it's gonna be fun
This place is spectacular. I can't believe I've never been here before, but wow. So it's a really, really deep gully. It's really beautiful. I actually lost my cap and my glasses, which have dropped right down into the deepest point there. So hopefully I can actually recover them. I'm gonna be a little bit nervous because a really big gully and it's open to open sea. Um, but it's very still and beautiful and I have got my fins on so I should be good and we're almost on the full high tide so the tide should still be pushing in for a while that is the path that is very very steep so I'm half I'm in my suit and my caps kind of washing past so that's a good sign um, I've told Emma that I'm safe and where I am hopefully I'll make it back but uh, yeah this is it. It's about kind of pushing a little bit where I feel uncomfortable, keeping it safe. But uh, it's so quiet and it's so beautiful. And yeah, I, I trust that, you know. So let's go see what it's like. Wow, wow, such a beautiful gully, <laughs> such a beautiful gully, um, feels very safe, protected and the water is so clear and yeah, I think I'm still a little bit over buoyant with my suit and these things but uh, weights, but yeah, also I don't want to push too hard you know because I'm on my own and if anything goes wrong I'm kind of fucked so <laughs> I have never been here before and basically I just saw it on the internet some people were coming down here and I thought wow I'd really love to see that place and uh, I'm the only person here um, I was very safe within my diving I didn't do anything dangerous I got my glasses and my cap back you know I got to get out of the house for a little while and spend some time on my own. Listen to the water and the rocks and got some beautiful shots underwater, which I'm sure you will see because they'll be in this video. <sighs> you know, it's the thing of just slowing down and really just inquiring, what is it that makes me happy? You know? This is my happy place, this here by the ocean, close to the forest, clear waters, gentle breeze, that's kind of where I'm happy, you know, and is that your life as it is right now is quite extraordinary. It seems ordinary, but it's usually because we're not able to be in 
it totally we are always somewhere else and then we forget to see how amazing what we have is and uh, yeah I I'd like to bring that to my content I would like to bring that in the message of the stories that I tell I would like to add beauty and beautiful images beautiful sounds um, my most authentic self and natural self and just by doing that perhaps people that watch or people that resonate with it it will have a an effect for them to find that for themselves you know? so I have nothing to teach really <laughs> I can only just ex show uh, how I live and what and what options they are um, I'm gonna start strolling back and maybe get some more footage and uh, thank you for watching thank you for listening and uh, if you find this uh, soothing and perhaps more what you're looking for then please stick around and bear with me because I really can't do this all the time. I have a full-time job, full-time, and I have a, a homestead to run, and I have a whole lot of side hustles that I do. So, and this is just something that I love, and I would love to be able to share. somewhere else and then we forget to see